So, in the uh, select challenge option on easy drive that most people will be familiar with from doing challenges before, there are now two options, time challenges and the normal frequent challenges that you've done before. So we'll go to time challenges, the new ones, and select one that's uh, near here. Uh, so all these challenges have two parts, and you'll do them as a team, and they're against the clock. And uh, to, beat, uh, to beat the challenge, you have to beat the timer. So in this one, the first part, we've got to meet up communication station on Lewis Pass, which is really nearby, that's why I chose it. So once we've done this challenge, hopefully it will be at the time of five minutes, which is uh, displayed in the top left. If we um, manage to do that, we'll put a timer on a leaderboard, and we'll show you that afterwards as well. So hopefully it will be the time, so I can show you the leaderboard. So it, um, you're going to want to play these over and over again to beat uh, to beat your previous time and get yourself up the leaderboard. So it takes a bit of practice to get good at these things. So meet up here, get us back up a bit. So part one, meet up the communication station, which is where we are. And when we've done part one, it'll tell us what part two is. So when the red guy appears... Oh, predictable. <laughs> it's always one that does that. That's, That's a false start. start. Yeah. Okay. There we go, stand by, ready. Go! And the time is right. Oh, the time's ticking. Let's look at the time there, not the van. <laughs> Never mind. Right, okay, so the time's ticking, the top left. Um, we've got to get nine jumps as a team off the viewpoint. I think we released a video of this one a little while ago. It's a really cool challenge because it uses a jump. We don't tend to do that much in the game. And it's a really awesome jump, so. The thing about this is it combines landing the jump properly without crashing and um, some fast driving so you can get back to the beginning of the jump. Also, it helps you don't take each other down. Although, I quite like because you're here. Oh, almost the jump up. Jump failed. Right, see minute? Yeah. So now I've got to go round again to the start of the jump and do it till we've got a total of nine and then we'll stop the clock. Oh, I the turn as well. Oh my word. <laughs> so when you're uh, challenging for the top of the leaderboard, you can use this as, as an example of what not to do. You don't want to make each other crash. You don't want to miss the turns. You want to get round and do the jumps as quickly as possible to stop the clock and get the fastest time in the world. So we've uh, got three jumps out of nine, one minute out of five. So we've got three and a half minutes remaining. driving, I don't want people to think. Right. I'll see if I can improve. I'm not staring at the clock so much. It's that one to pressure, isn't it? Also, there's quite a cool feature in these challenges. Um, some of them tell you um, who contributed the most, who did the most jumps. I think that's what will tell us. And also who finished first when they're in. That's which finished first. There you go, up to five. So whoever gets the most jumps out of us, it'll say this guy was the, was the star of the show and he uh, contributed the most. Right, yeah, I must have been that last time. Look at that. It's all practice. And hopefully that'll be me, although it's looking like it'll be the uh, Angus North character. Sure, those other guys have gone. They seem to have uh, missed the jump completely. Yay. So we've got three. And there's two minutes to go. I've got three. I've got six in total. Just need three more to stop the clock. Some of them got, seem to have got a bit lost as well. Obviously, they're going on the mini map. So, part of getting the best time is. Uh, working out the shortest route, because all of the challenges have all at least some driving between the two locations where the, uh, the things got to do take place. Don't take each other down, there's some good tips as well. We've got one more, we've got a minute and a half left. 
Hey, challenge complete. Nine jumps. So that was three minutes, 31 seconds. I contributed the most, and they'll get a message on their machine saying that tell them that I contributed the most, because I got four jumps or whatever it was. So now we've done that, we go to the new leaderboards option. Nice drive, which I think is another new one as well. Go in here, and we've got all the usual leaderboards. But now we have time challenges. The so time challenges three players. That one was... Is that Life on the Edge now, was it? Leaps of Faith. So yeah, there it is. Um, 22 in the world, just showing friends at the moment, I think. Um, world's best. There we go. So, um, actually bottom of the world ranking so far. Page up, you're at the fastest time. So the fastest time it's been done, it's by the Soldier Boy, which is on that website, predictably. He's done it in a minute and 1.5 seconds. And me and those guys, we just don't know, did it in three and a half minutes. So quite a bit of room for improvement, but uh, at least we, we passed and we got it ticked off.